Have you been ill? A little. However, you needn't concern yourself about it. No, but I am concerned about your being here. You are? A person would have to be very callous to do what you're doing. What do you mean? Naturally, I mean by your coming to this house. Under the circumstances, it does seem a little ruthless, doesn't it? Tony! A man sometimes is indiscreet. How do you do? How do you do? A man sometimes is indiscreet outside his home. When the other party to this indiscretion brazenly makes her appearance in his home, it's completely disgusting. Just a minute. You've had your say now. I'll have mine. I assure you, nothing you can say now will interest me. I'll always admire you for the perfect ease with which you fooled me. But don't worry. I know now that you're nothing but a cowardly, faithless, how do you do? Narrow-minded little... No, look here, You're still you... convinced that I'm guilty, and in spite of your pretending to care for me, you're not big enough to give me the benefit of the doubt that any girl is entitled to have. Amelia, you listen to me. Right now, I'm not a bit interested in anything further you may have to say. And when the time comes, and you find out how wrong you've been, you can come crawling to me on your knees, and then perhaps I'll listen to you. Perhaps. Amelia. How do you feel? Are you all right? I feel much better. In fact, I feel much better than I have in weeks. Come on, we've been stalling for you. Your parties are always so exciting, my dear. Mm, thank you. Never a dull moment at the Millette's. 